All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office, and uh, yeah, we still haven't had an opportunity to do that bipod uh, intro, but I tell you what, I've got bipods. We've got uh, Atlas bipods. I got Caldwell bipods. We've got the Fab Defense bipods. We've got all kinds of bipods. And uh, eventually we'll get down to the nitty gritty and get you guys some information. I would like to send a big thank you out to Callaway Ballistics. We received a shipment in with some 147 grain 9 millimeter subsonic as well as some 300 blackout. And uh, I'm going to do some testing with the help of a real true professional. Uh, that's going to be coming up in the upcoming week. And then we're just going to go out and have a blast. All right, so what is this video about? This, I was just, this, this, um, I was just perusing the Instagram thing and I saw a post by 2A4CA, which is 2A for California. And you know, uh, poor guys out there in California, they are inundated with so many anti-gun individuals. I had to do a video about this thing. This came out a couple of days ago. I think it was February 2nd. But uh, gun owners of California, master of legislative overkill. California Senator Portantino thinks requiring every public school parent to disclose if they have guns in the home will solve shootings. But this treats every kid like a potential mass shooter. <laughs> Fourth Amendment, privacy rights. Uh, yeah. All right. So anyway, this thing's called the SB906. Now, I'm just going to read to you a couple things, but let's talk about the author of this thing before we do that. Now, this guy's name is Anthony J. Portantino, and evidently he's lost a lot of weight, or actually he may have gained a lot of weight. I don't know. But I, what I think is funny is he has two pictures. He's wearing the same tie in the two different pictures. One's a fat Portantino, one's a skinny Portantino. The only way I knew that they were the same people was if you zero in on the eyes, he's wearing the same, almost the same pair of glasses. The hair coloring's the same. He's got a little mark right here between his mustache. But he's a turd. <laughs> so let's talk about this. Oh, he represents the 25th State Senate District, which stretches along the 200-210 freeway from Sunland to Junga to Upland. All right, he proudly serves and represents the Rose Bowl, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Griffith Park, Warner Brothers, Disney, Caltech, and Claremont Colleges. Well, evidently, he can't afford to buy more than one tie. All right, let's talk about SB906 as introduced Portantino. This is named School Safety, Mass Casualties, Threats, Firearm Disclosure. Now, here again, uh, this is like the individual or the uh, the phone company or whoever it was or uh, the, uh, a newspaper was like, we're just going to publish all the names that we can find of people who own firearms. How stupid is that? Okay, in, in, in the, the comments, and this is a whole guise, is to protect the children, it's good common sense, right? Uh, existing laws requires, existing law requires school districts and county offices to educate, to be responsible for the overall development of a comprehensive school safety plan for each of their schools operating a kindergarten garden or any grades 1 to 12 inclusive. Existing law requires a comprehensive school safety plan. Okay, whatever. Not gonna... This bill, this bill, this bill would require on or before January 1, 2023, the State Department of Education, in consultation with the Department of Justice, okay, to develop model content for use by local educational agencies related to a threat or perceived threat of an incident of mass casualties at a school. Using the model content, the bill would require, I'm going to post it down below, okay, there's a link, uh, would require uh, the parents or guardians of a pupil to disclose whether any firearms are located at the home of the pupil and to answer questions about the ownership, storage, and accessibility by the pupil uh, <laughs> of the firearms. That's some sick shit right there, folks. He's trying to develop a law where these people are delving into what you have a constitutional right. They do not have a constitutional right to question you, to tell you what you can, what, when, where, and how. But this turd is wanting to do that. The bill would require local educational agencies to include information related to the safe storage of firearms in the annual, notifica annual notification provided to the parents or guardians of a pupil. If a school official is alerted 
Two are observes any threat or perceived threat of an incident of mass casualties at a school. The bill would require a report of the threat or perceived threat to be immediately made to law enforcement and the Department of Justice. The bill would require school or local educational agency in consultation with law enforcement to conduct to conduct immediately an investigation and threat assessment as specified. Holy shit. Well, you know what? A kid says something wrong at school. Next thing you know, you got people showing up at your house. Uh, wanting to question you, see where your firearms and everything else. This is, again, I, I, I know that we all want to make sure our children are safe, right? I do. I want to make sure they're safe. My kids know how to act around firearms. Other ki people's kids come over to the house, we put them away just to make sure that nothing is available to anyone who does something stupid. Because if you allow someone to do something stupid, nine times out of ten, they're going to do it, Right? The bill would require the investigation and threat assessment to include review of the parent and our guardian's firearm disclosure information and a search of the pupil and pupil's property located at the school site, which means they'll go and they can search their stuff. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, they're on school property. Do what you got to do. I don't care. But the minute somebody steps foot on my property or my child is assumed that they're going to be a shooter, uh, okay. Pupils property in the school site. If there's reasonable suspicion that a search will result in discovery of a firearm or evidence that the pupil has or is violating the law of the school safety rules by imposing additional duties on local educational agencies, the bill would impose a state mandated local program. All right. That's it. That's uh, this, this, these individuals, they have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to firearms. This is the Clipazine, 30 rounds a second. These are the same turds that are out there doing what they do every single day in the guise of safety. We're here to keep you safe. Take the vaccine, do this, do that. It's unreal what these people are going to do or trying to do to us to eliminate our ability to exercise our Second Amendment and our First Amendment rights. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is some BS. And thanks to 2A4CA for posting that shit on Instagram. Wow, that was a cuss word. I'm trying to keep this thing clean. But this is some dangerous, this is a dangerous law. And most likely in California, it'll pass. But Portentino, wow, man, what a great weight loss program you must have put together. Get some new ties and get a new suit, okay? KB32, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Yeah, we got a, a new rifle build. Um, oh, check this out. <laughs> we got, uh, this is a really cool little deal. This is the guys over there, Mega Print, and this is a rifle wrap. So I got a rifle wrap. I got to just pick out the perfect rifle to put this on. But I, they asked me what I wanted. I said, send me something patriotic. So this is a rifle wrap. And we're going to put it together and show you guys how to do it. It'll be a lot of fun. That's it. KB32. You can always do this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Not this stupid shit that we're seeing right here. And if you're law, L -L -E LEO, hey, how about do me a favor? Question you know, the authorities having jurisdiction because to be honest with you, they're doing stupid shit these days and they're using you against us. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.